What's up, everybody? Brian Tong here outside of Steve Jobs Theater now. And I came out here because I wanted to talk to you about the new AirPods Pro 2 with USB C. Now, externally, they look exactly alike, other than they have the USB C port, but I'm going to call these the AirPods Pro 2 in air quotes. And I'm going to tell you why. You look at it, this is great, right? USB C MagSafe is going to make it more compatible with other cables and chargers you have. You can also directly connect your new iPhone 15 or 15 Pro with USB C directly into the new AirPods Pro 2, the USB C, and charge it that way. But this is where it gets tricky, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to break this down. So the AirPods Pro 2 with USB C MagSafe is a different AirPods than the AirPods Pro 2 with Lightning that you currently have. And what is different about it? The actual physical model will look the same, right? They'll fit in your ear the same, but internally, the hardware and architecture is different in these AirPods Pro 2. Now, I used air quotes because it feels like this should be, maybe they should call it AirPods 3, but what is this new architecture? Well, in tandem, Apple just announced this, the Apple Vision Pro has an H2 chip. Now, the H2 chip, is the brains and the processing that is also existing in the AirPods Pro 2 Lightning and AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C. The difference, actual AirPods themselves, the hardware and the architecture inside of it is different, which allows them to communicate to the Apple Vision Pro and have lossless audio. This is the first product in Apple's lineup to ever bring lossless audio, 20-bit, 48 kilohertz, but it needs to work in tandem only with the AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C and Apple Vision Pro. But if you don't plan on getting an Apple Vision Pro, if you don't want to get an Apple Vision Pro, lossless audio is not capable on any other piece of Apple hardware. So that means iPhone 15, lossless audio is not available. iPhone 15 Pro, lossless audio is not available. Apple even created their own new wireless audio protocol specifically using, taking advantage of the hardware in these new AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C and the H2 chip talking to the Apple Vision Pro and the H2 chip, Apple made their own protocol for this to work. So, you know, let's just hope in the future that other products that are, you know, more attainable and don't start at $3,499 like the Pro will be available to take advantage of this lossless audio feature. But in the very near future, the only product that will be able to take advantage of lossless audio is Apple Vision Pro plus AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C. It's great from a technical standpoint, but I think from a consumer standpoint, it is confusing. They're not changing the name at all other than USB-C MagSafe. We know this. If you read the press release, you'll, you'll think it's the same thing, but it's not the same thing. And I wanted to let you know that that's a big key thing. We have the improvements that are going to be great with iOS 17, which takes advantage of the H2 chip, again, that brains and processing in the AirPods Pro. So you're getting adaptive audio, which is this really fascinating blend of active noise cancellation and transparency mode, depending on as you walk through life, what you hear. I got to try it. It was really pretty nice. Then you have conversational awareness, which I love. If you're seeing someone and you want to talk to them, if they try and initiate conversation with you, it will not set that feature off. But if I say, oh, hey, what's up, Dan? Well, then the music that I'm playing will actually duck down. It'll lower gradually. We can have a conversation. And then when we're done, it comes back up. What's also really interesting about this is there's a lot of machine learning involved. So if you have a short, quick conversation, the time where this, mu this music that you're listening to slowly fades out is faster versus the time if I had like, let's say a five or 10 minute conversation, that music will kind of gradually go back up. So, and there's no set time. It's just kind of learning based on how you talk. The third feature coming to AirPods Pro 2 with iOS 17 is also personalized audio. That is where it is constantly learning what volume levels do you listen to your music at? Um, what do you set it at? And depending on the different situations, it's going to learn that and kind of create a general personalized audio. Again, these three audio features I mentioned to you are available for the AirPods Pro 2 with MagSafe, USB-C coming, and AirPods Pro 2 with Lightning that currently exists and have been out for a while. But lossless audio only AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C and Apple Vision Pro. Dan, did you get that? I think so. He says, I think so. I, to me, this is really important to let you all know that it is technically a different product from a hardware standpoint, but from a consumer marketing naming, it's still going to be called AirPods Pro second generation. That's why I used air quotes. I feel like it should be like a 2.5 or something. I mean, this is kind of a big deal. It's our first product to ever get lossless audio. I don't know if it's because they didn't want to upset consumers who just bought an AirPods Pro 2 and all of a sudden now there's this new one that actually does something different 
that soon. I'm always okay with pushing technology forward, but um, I think also if it's something that groundbreaking for you as a company, that you should name it differently. But hey, I'm just delivering the information to you. They're available to order today, and then the new AirPods Pro 2 with, uh, with USB-C and MagSafe charging, they're gonna be available to ship to you on September the 22nd. So I'm the messenger. I'd love to hear what you all think in the comments. Did I make sense? Hopefully I did. And uh, how do you feel about this? I'll let you all talk, all right? More coverage here on the channel. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Peace.